Riley's death, Jose Abaria. He came across the border. He claimed asylum. He got set free by the Border Patrol. He got arrested in New York and was released again. And he showed up in the sanctuary city of Athens, Georgia, where he is now accused of murder. The mayor of Athens says he won't change the city's policies. Our Alex Capriello asked the mayor directly about his message to Riley's family debate whether or not Athens is a sanctuary city. The fact of the matter is Jose Ibarra and at least four or five other undocumented immigrants were living in that apartment. So I want to know whether or not you feel as city leaders that you owe the Lake and Riley family an apology for allowing that to happen in the first place. Yeah. We are deeply sorry for this tragedy. The responsibility for this crime rests solely upon the perpetrator. In other words, no. He doesn't seem to think his city's policies had anything to do with the death, the murder of Lake and Riley. Alex is back with us. He's been mapping out Abaria's movements and some new details from the case. We're going to get, and I, I want to get Alex to that meeting with the mayor, uh, that press conference, some of the details there. But what have you figured out about the case so far today? Yeah, look, even as early as this afternoon, I still saw investigators and police detectives combing the woods where Lake and Riley's body was found. So I decided to map it out myself so I can give our viewers an up-close look at the actual scene where that grisly murder occurred. Take a look. These hike and bike trails are beloved to the University of Georgia student body, and they're also dangerously close to where the suspect, Jose Ibarra, lived. Right beyond that hill is his studio apartment, where neighbors say that he would sit outside all day long watching people go by, including Lake and Riley, who used that apartment complex as a shortcut to get to this path leading to the University of Georgia campus. I'm now walking on that trail, heading towards the intramural fields at the University of Georgia campus, where police say Lake and Riley's friend frantically called 911 after she didn't return home from her morning run. A search was launched, and police found her body deep within these woods without a pulse and not breathing unconscious. On top of the murder charge that Jose Ibarra also faces, he's also accused of concealing her death, meaning he dragged her body deep within here to conceal it from other runners. Back here on the University of Georgia campus, we've seen memorials just like these pop up everywhere. This isn't far from where Lake and Riley's body was found. We've witnessed as students stop by, drop off flowers, and pray. In fact, this whole city is in mourning, and they hope for justice for Lake and Riley and her family. Now, of course, the campus is back up and running, but you can certainly still feel a very large weight on top of it. Meanwhile, no arraignment still scheduled yet for the suspect, Jose Ibarra. All right, Alex, a couple of questions. Great reporting. First of all, that search deep into the woods, uh, were they using helicopters? Were they using dogs? Why is it that police all of a sudden mobilized so quickly from that 911 call versus saying, hey, we'll wait a few hours and see if she shows back up? Maybe she lost her phone. Well, it is really quite miraculous when you read these police documents because it was only shortly after noon that that first 911 call was placed. Officers were on scene immediately. They went through the path because they know that that was the running trail that she typically used. And within minutes, they located her body unconscious, without a pulse, no breathing. And so it really was a miracle that they were able to find her so quickly. They did perform life-saving measures. We know that they performed CPR, that they even administered a defibrillator. Uh, but really, it was too little too late. All right. So you've got Athens, Georgia. It is a very blue city. Um, in what is now sort of a swing state, mm -hmm. but obviously Brian Kemp was elected there. You think of Georgia, you think of it as a conservative Republican state. Athens defies state law when it comes to how they deal with illegal immigrants. Uh, are, there, are there citizens there now, even college kids who typically be pretty liberal on these issues, who are, are angry, scared, surprised? What's the emotion from folks? Yeah, I think everybody wants changes to occur. It starts with the student body, right? They are saying that they want to see improvements, and so the University of Georgia responded. They are going to invest more than $7 million in improvements, more lighting, more police that are actually patrolling, better cameras that are out there. But from the community members themselves, that's where we saw that largest uproar today during the press conference. They're demanding change. They want to see a resolution that was enacted back in 2019, rescinded, because the mayor was really trying to clarify during this press conference that this is not a sanctuary city, just a place where undocumented immigrants can actually come and find a safe haven. That certainly didn't go well. Let's take a look at that press conference from earlier this morning. 
wish to do is dignify everybody's humanity. There's nothing in that resolution that creates. You 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 cannot uphold the law, not your feelings. Is it here in Athens, Clark County? We sent our work in the public sector. You need to go, sir. Hmm. And if you didn't hear it right there and then, uh, that is them saying they want the mayor to resign effective immediately. And while Lake and Riley's death is certainly tragic and what appears to be an isolated incident from a very violent individual, the people here in Athens say that's just not true. They've seen evidence in the past over the years where undocumented immigrants are taking advantage of them and their city. Yeah, and we we know that the undocumented population, the illegal immigrant population, knows where sanctuary cities are and, and congregates there. It only, make, it only makes sense. Alex, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Stay on the case. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.